Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I upload my last video. It's been six months. So guess what? This is my one year journey of ISO 39. So today I want to share something really personal. My journey with ISO 39, a treatment for acne for the past years. It's about how I've been dealing with my skin problems and trying to feel better about myself. So let's go back to when my acne was really bad. My skin was covered in painful pimples and it made me feel terrible about myself. I feel like I couldn't be myself because I was so self-conscious about my skin. So a year ago, I decided to try Asotretin to help with my journey in clearing my acne. I was hopeful but also nervous because I've heard about some side effects. I wanted to feel better but I wasn't sure if this treatment would work, you know. So at first, things got worse before they got better. My skin seemed to get even more pimples and I had some side effects like dryness and mood swings. I kept going because I wanted to see if things would improve. So by the 6 month mark, I started to see some changes. My skin wasn't as red and the pimples were starting to go away. I still had some acne scars but I feel like I was on the right track. And after a year and this is my skin currently right now, uh, I feel a lot better but I still have some, some scars but I feel more confident. Constructing really helped me uh, feel better about myself and if you're struggling like acne with me, uh, you're coming to the right video because I'm going to share uh, how I get rid of my acne uh, and the pro of course the products that I use uh, over the past one year. So let's go. So currently if you're new to my channel, then this is what my skin looks like. Uh, I will show you in my video, maybe around here. Yeah, you can see it is really awful and let's break down how my skin looks like right now, okay? Uh, I'm going to zoom real quick, okay? So this is my skin current condition right now. So yes, like I told earlier, there are stiff, uh, some scars around here. I hope you guys see clearly. And you see? There are a lot of scars and yeah but it really helps me clear a lot of my acne it, it's like 360 BAM and it, my acne just very different you know I really uh, changed a lot so because of this ASO39 so ASO39 really have a lot of side effects uh, what I feel about the past one year is that um, I feel dryness on my skin, very itchy, and also uh, my lips very dry. So I need to use lip balm for like three or four times a day. I'm not gonna lie. And also I need to use a lot of sunscreen. You see, my sunscreen <laughs> already use it a lot because I work uh, at a very hot environment. So yeah, I need to use sunscreen and. I'm taking 20 uh, to 30 milligrams a day of ASO39 So this is what the 20 looks like I still have a uh, full tablet here And also this is what the 10 milligrams looks like So sometimes I use 20, sometimes I use 30 But currently right now, uh, I just use 20 or 10 Because uh, my skin is getting a lot of better right now and yes, this acetatin is a very expensive drug, I have to admit. Uh, so, I use it very wisely right now. Alright, for the last part of my video, I would like to take a moment to share a skincare product that I've been using lately for the last one year of my acetatin journey. So, this insert is called the La Rose Posay Tolerain One. So, this cleanser has been a really game changer for me. It's helped me. Uh, significantly reduce my acne, breakouts, and control excess oilness, leaving my skin feeling clean and refreshed every time I use. Uh, this, of course, is an endorsement. I really appreciate about this concern is how gentle it is on the skin. As someone with sensitive and acne-prone skin, finding a product that doesn't cause irritation or dryness is very crucial for me. And this is one tick all out of the box, really. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video I really appreciate every single like and also every single subscribe to this channel it also motivates me to make a video too bye see you later guys thank you for watching